Greetings, fellow Pathfinders on this journey of endless learning and mastery. Today, we take on the quest of deciphering the subtle art of body language. Dive with me into the depths of human interaction as we unlock the secrets conveyed by the chest, torso, belly, arms, and shoulders. Our adventure is guided by the insights from the Dictionary of Body Language by expert Joe Navarro. Join me as we delve into the world of nonverbal cues with the help of skilled actors. Let's start with the rhythm of breath. Ever noticed when someone's chest rises and falls like stormy waves? That's rapid breathing, an unmistakable herald of stress, fear, or fury. On the flip side, shallow breaths, like the flutter of a trapped bird's wings, suggest a skirmish with anxiety or fear. Now, picture the solar plexus, the crossroads of nerves beneath our ribcage. When pressed, it can soothe the storm within. See a friend's hand gravitate there? The pressure echoes their stress levels. And there's the palm on chest gesture want to know if someone's words are steeped in sincerity? Their palm intensity might just hold your answer. Ever seen someone with a hand at their collarbone, almost cradling it? That's a sign they're seeking sanctuary from vulnerability. The hand raking of the chest resembles a desperate plea for calm, a silent scream in the midst of chaos. Adapt and master these insights, and you'll navigate the seas of social engagement like a seasoned captain. Now, clothing adjustments speak volumes too. A tug at the shirt for ventilation? It might not just mean they're hot under the collar it could be a cry for psychological cool down. And don't overlook the body's thermodynamics some cool as ice, while others blaze with warmth in the furnace of stress. Now, take the subtle art of leaning away. A barely perceptible shift could flag disagreement, creating a chasm in the conversational flow. Sit back, and the world knows you're pondering, perhaps disengaging to mull over thoughts or signaling dissent. But lean in, and it's as though you're whispering, I'm with you, ready to agree. Just beware, lean too soon, too eager? It reeks of desperation, a card you never want to play in the theater of negotiations or the dance of romance. Body orientation speaks loudest of all. Belly turned aside? It's a shield against discomfort. Yet when facing forward, it's an embrace of comfort and interest. But if someone cloaks their belly, it's as if they're saying, I need armor in this battle of emotions. Observe mirroring, two bodies swaying in silent unity. It's the non-verbal duet of kindred spirits. But should you spy someone rigid as a statue, or gripping armrests as if bracing for impact, know they're entrenched in fear. Slouching, however, is the universal banner of disinterest or challenge a caution when in formal settings. And those who double over or curl into themselves? They are harboring an inner maelstrom of distress. Pregnant ladies often wrap protective hands over their growing miracles when threatened. They, too, seek solace through touch, releasing oxytocin to calm both themselves and their unborn child. Behold various hip gesture swiggles and sways, the rhythmic dance serving as a barometer for boredom, discomfort, and emotional tides. Could it also, perhaps, signal an anchoring ritual, harking back to the soothing cradle of babyhood? And the shoulders those sentinels of confidence and emotion. Observe a single raised shoulder, a silent confession of uncertainty. A shrug? Or a rubbing? They chant tales of ignorance, stress, and the human need for self-soothing. The theater of body language continues with arms a celebration of jubilation or a barrier of defensiveness. Crossed arms whisper tales varied as the stars above. From the safe embrace of self-hugging to the shield of protection, restraints of control, signs of discord, and anxieties massaged. And there's the phenomenon of wrist displays the wrist, an emblem of vulnerability and intimacy, laid bare only among allies and lovers. Goosebumps? A primal chill, an alarm of fear or a sign of illness, while sweating serves as a beacon of stress, a key for those trained to look. Now, affirm your dedication to many lessons, accept the challenge to watch this video again, sans text, visuals muted, and challenge yourself to interpret the silent language we've unveiled. Can you read the unspoken stories? Gentlemen, today's mission was not just an exercise in knowledge, but a step towards a deeper comprehension of the human experience. Unraveling the threads of body language fortifies your arsenal of social aptitude, and in doing so, transforms not just your interactions but your grasp on the crucible of life itself. And if this odyssey into the realm of non-verbal communication has enriched your understanding, I invite you to express your appreciation in a manner most suited to the value you've garnered. Look for the link in the description and remember, your investment in knowledge reaps the best returns. Before we part, I'd like to remind you, to forge ahead on this journey of wisdom and success. Ensure you subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell, 
so you shall not miss a single chapter of our ongoing saga. By aligning with this alliance, you advent yourself towards the realizations pledged in today's encounter. Ask yourself, which of these insights will you embody in your daily life? Will you wield these tools to navigate the seas of relationships and power? Chart your course, stand resolute, and may your journey be grand. Until our paths cross again, embolden your stance, broaden your horizons, and embrace the wisdom of modern life. Stay steadfast, gentlemen. Prepare to uncover the secrets of turning your environment into a powerhouse for habit formation. Max Sterling here, and today I am going to take you on a journey through the intricate world of building and maintaining healthy habits, harnessing the enormous potential of your social surroundings. Forget about theories that barely scratch the surface. What I have in store will revolutionize the way you approach life's routines. Let's kick this off with something fundamental rewards. We're all aware that the absence of well-placed rewards can prevent a habit from taking root. But did you know that among the most potent rewards are those that come from our interactions with others? That's right. We're wired to thrive on social connections. Picture yourself at the gym, not alone, but among friends. You're greeted with warm smiles, a few hearty chuckles, and real conversation. These moments? They're golden. They bind pleasure to your efforts. The result? You actually begin to crave these workouts because they're paired with feel-good social experiences. And if you're sitting there wondering, how do I even start making gym buddies? Well, it's easier than you think. Initiate a chat over gym equipment or compliment someone on their technique. The next time around, a simple nod or inquiry about their day can open the doors to friendship. Next, accountability a force of human nature we cannot ignore. Accountability can be your ally. Joining a community, like a book club or a running group, means your reputation is at stake. You don't want to be the one who didn't do the reading or missed the morning run. This powerful motivation, spurred by our fear of exclusion, is what keeps you on track. It replaces excuses with solutions and fosters a consistent habit-building drive. For the final key takeaway, let me talk about focus. The topics of our thoughts pave the paths to our actions. Immerse yourself in an environment where health and well-being are frequent conversation themes. This exposure will shape your mindset. Suddenly, you're considering meal prep options or debating the best hydration techniques. With your thought patterns shifted, your actions naturally align with your new mindset, propelling you toward your goals. This trifecta of rewards, accountability, and focus is why the social environment is an unsung hero in the realm of habit formation. Now, a nod to one of the bright minds in behavioral psychology who inspired this discussion. As we unravel these insights, consider subscribing to join our vibrant community. With every like, hit on the notification bell and subscribe click. You're not just supporting the channel, you're investing in the accumulation of life-enhancing knowledge and practices that will propel you along the path of success. Now, ask yourself, what steps will you take to enhance your social environment for better habit formation? Remember, it's not just about what you do, it's about who you surround yourself with. And if you've gained something valuable today, consider showing your appreciation. Any token of gratitude is a marker of the value you've received, and the link for this gesture is in the description. Keep forging ahead, and may your environments be rich in opportunities and allies on this journey to growth and excellence. Stay determined, and I'll catch you on the next one.